Did you ever run out of nose wax sticks and think, I could just make my own? No? Well, I did. I wasn't about to let my nose hair win this battle. I don't know where we come up with this stuff. I really don't. <laughs> Before you get 3D print your own nose wax things, you're going to need to know one very important thing, the diameter of your nostrils. Are you serious? Wow, you got a big nose. <laughs> precision matters, it's for science. That's right, precision engineering at its finest. I went with a one-piece design, simple handle, rounded tip, and just enough lint to make you question your life choices. For this masterpiece, we're printing in Pet G. And here's why. Pet G is tough and flexible, and it won't break mid-pull. That is a sentence I don't think I ever thought I would say. It's also more heat resistant, so it won't warp when it hits the warm wax. A little more hygienic for one-time use. PLA, on the other hand, could be a little too brittle. You might end with half a stick stuck up your nose. ABS is strong, but it will give off fumes that will make your eyes water before you can even stick the nose wax stick up your nose. Petchy is the perfect middle ground for safety, strength, and a little bit of dignity. The print took about 50 minutes and used roughly 5 grams of filament for two nose wax sticks. So if you ever wanted to justify owning a thousand dollar printer, this is it. That's right, NASA engineers never dreamed of innovation at this level. Before I go jamming these up my nose, let's talk about safety, because science. So if you're 3D printing anything that's going up your nose or gonna be on your face, you're gonna wanna wash it off with isopropyl alcohol. Use Pet G from a good brand and keep the wax around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. Any hotter in your wrist, softening the nose stick and giving your nose a surprise it didn't sign up for. If this goes wrong, tell my subscribers I did it for science. <laughs> I hope that works. <laughs> Okay, now let's do the other side. <sighs> oh. <sighs> okay, success, but disgusting. It held up, it didn't snap, and I may actually patent this ridiculous idea. Just joking, but uh, it worked. Another functional part made with 3D printing. Weird function, but a function. And here I am once again questioning my life choices. Before we got to our final design, we did have to produce quite a few test prints to just make sure it printed perfectly. So we went back and forth a few times, redesigning, redesigning until it printed perfect and we were able to use it. If you enjoyed this ridiculous experiment, hit the like button and tag a man or woman in the comments below if they need to create their own custom nose wax stick. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making. Oh, and remember, in life you don't find yourself, you build yourself one layer at a time.